Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the multiplayer let's play of European Universalis 4. I'm your host, Kelvin. Joining me, we have the evil Spaniard, Mad de Jean. Marbozier. Hey. And Shenner. And Hola. he who shall not be named. Let's begin. That green dude. Hey, I'm green. <laughs> yeah, Shenner's green. The other green. There is I'm no other here. green dude. MacGuffin's like a, a pea soup kind of green. Alright, well, let's build armories. And there's Portugal. Yay! Let's party! Yeah. Instantly declares war on you. And they are 10 10 10. Yeah, no kidding. And we can't even... I can't even meet them, despite having their colony right there. Yeah, they have to finish it first. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like having ships go by, you can't meet them that way either. No ships in the night. Send our uh, second legion up there for that colony. Lock this in. Get us a. I'm, I'm mostly at this point just don't want Portugal coming down here. It'll be much easier to fight them off later when they only have a single province there. Bye, right. Navarra. You've, you what? Navarra no. got eaten. Oh. Navarra was just annexed. Oh, I thought you said hi, Navarra. I'm just like, wait, Navarra got to you? I was worried for a second there. Alright, well, our points are pretty well built up. We need to build a constable in that province. And, uh, we need one more constable after that, and we're done. From here in, I guess we just have to build marketplaces. That's it, actually, yeah, huh. Well, the good news is we've now isolated Portugal to that one province, so I don't think they're ever going to be a threat. I am by the Great Britain. Congrats. Because I explored Europe. You explored Europe? Yep. I don't have quest for the new world, so Europe is the new world for me. Seems legit. Yeah. Sadly, it took exploration. That's actually, like I said, a problem. I was an idiot and took, um, expansion. And I still, to this day, can't figure out why I was on the drugs that I was that made me take expansion over exploration. Good, we won. Oh no, I lost my CB on you. Mm. All right. Slowly but surely, Portugal is growing. How's Portugal on tech? There are enough. The second Portugal's colony finishes, westernization can occur on my end. Sounds fun. It, it'll it actually be advantageous uh, if we do this right, uh, Marb. You need Wait, to so modernize can... your government off of me, mm. and that way you'll be far enough behind that uh, you can westernize off of Portugal. When but can you trolls? No, it, it'll be from the highest tech nation that you neighbor. But oh, okay. I'm thinking because you have a, that Labrador is still a colony, it should work out because Portugal's mm. colony is going to finish first. 
Yeah, so I why can then delay Westernized? it by recalling my colonist. Yeah, you could. If it comes down to that, it will. It depends on the RNG, but... It, the uh, idea will be that, you know, that remains a colony. Uh, yeah, yeah, then, I get what you're saying. Yeah, so that could work out well. It'll so I'll us, recall uh, him for now to delay it a bit. Yeah, that, that probably is a good idea. So Portugal lets me westernize. He then shares a border with me, but not Portugal because that's a colony. Uh, which lets him modernize his government off of me, which puts so him yeah, I cannot run me on everything. Light ships in trade zones in the new world. Yep. You need to have a port. And my colonies will not allow me to have ports because I'm expected to have had it. So my fleets always leave the trade node. It's a good time. Yeah, it's silly. Sounds entertaining. So all you can do is patrol, what, Western Europe? Yeah, basically. I mean, I can patrol uh, around... I can patrol around my colonies if I have a merchant, but the problem is they want to go back to my places when they need to uh, heal, so they won't stick around, and then I lose all the trade power. They have to cross the ocean. Hmm. I like mercantilism. How many mercantilism are we up to, anyway? 14.5. Not bad. Alright. Alright. <laughs> 4, 2, and 2. Okay. Mikamaka. This region should be ours, as this region is. This isn't too bad, I guess. I'm okay with this empire. How far? How far away is that colony from finishing? 292. Sweet. So it's almost 30%. It's in fact 298 now. 30% done, just about. Alright. Huh. Grr. Nothing left to do. Got two active colonists. Constable. So that means I can build five marketplaces, I guess. That's always nice, I suppose. So this looks weird having my colonist being a white guy with blonde hair. <laughs> Are you kidding? We're so rich we employ the white people to colonize for us. Alright. Alright, we're good. We can actually build another legion. Which will put us on equal footing with what MacGuffin is showing me. Except he's got a lot of infantry and not many cannons, so my army will actually be theoretically superior. Huh. Alright. Looks like England just switched over its dudes to colonial nations or something. Probably. No, uh, it looks like Portugal, uh, uh, Portuguese rebels are taking all of the Portuguese colonies back. Oh, I see. That that makes sense. Regency. Yeah. That's the color that these guys are, yep. Welcome to an age two era. Well, I'll be sleeping for the next 13 years. 
I had an age uh, age two air earlier, or age uh, three maybe. But it didn't really matter because you know what was I gonna do? Hmm. Well, his empire is just about complete there. Okay. Do, 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 do. Come on. Woo, 500. Go, Portugal, go. I almost just want to freaking get this tech. Maximum efficiency. Yeah, I probably am going to need to hold off on running two colonies if I'm going to westernize. Though, this should finish before them. Hopefully. It's, we hope. You'd think that uh, Arctic and no Jason controlled. Yeah, it's that land of opportunity. So far ahead of me. In that regard. Westernize. Florida is only seven techs ahead of us. Okay. Oh, hey, Florida. If Florida techs up once more, I can westernize off of them. Yeah, I'm banking on either that or this colony to be finished, which is currently at uh, 149. So in the end, good things. It's uh, westernization time. Which means it'll be ti finally time to uh, <clears throat> remove the evil Spaniard from premises. Yeah. Yeah, the colonies are just idiots. Doesn't it uh, break the protectorate status if I westernize? It does. Which means Am I still considered a vassal or anything? Nope. Nope. No. You join the light side again. Aw. Boo. Or, or not. One there. I don't think Spain needs any more advantages in this game. Um, since I'm not allowed to attack you personally. <laughs> well, you are. There it is. Spain. There's your tech. Yeah, it is. Woohoo! Boom, Western eyes. Boom, Western eyes. Hang on. Uh, I'm now going to spend my excess of admin points on re getting my stability up. Oh, wait. Crap. Well, you can boost your stability once, turns out. And it doesn't actually count against you. Which is strange. Yep. That's probably a little odd, yes. Alright, I need advisors. First one that's going to fall apart is diplomacy. But having two colonies is too expensive to hire good guys. That's only going to drop by one each time. I, sh I don't really have to be too worried about it. Even with level three, the best we can get is up to seven on that. Which isn't great. That's where all my money needs to be going. I need that to finish up. of westernization. Hmm. It's still plus ten. So, how's your government, Marb? I reformed it. 
Cool, cool. How's your colony in Labrador? I sent the colonies there to speed it up. But Labrador is at 271. Alright. Yay, I took care of my first westernization event. Oh, hey, right, now that I'm western, I can actually see things. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not blind anymore. Hi, France. Why haven't you eaten Brittany yet? Because they like Brittany. They like their little pet. They're allied with Great Britain. Mm. So how's your economy doing, Kelvin? Oh, my economy is doing great. However, I just lost all my westernization progress. Yay. Resisting I mean, Catholicism. Boo. I'll take all that Catholic, man. You take all the Catholic. So I'm not pleased about that, but what, what you're going to do, I guess? Be Catholic. Totems rule. Ooh, totems. New Granada. Yep. I'm I'm losing a buttload of money right now. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. That is a bit odd. Like, like 10 gold a month. And I'm not over anything or anything like that. I'm still maintaining two colonies. I have one. But I lost a bunch when I sent the colony before. And I think it might have been a bug with that, I guess. I have no idea. I guess yeah. I don't really need this colony anymore. Slowly but surely. That didn't help very much, actually. Well, something's wrong. Yeah, I have no idea. I I can't think of anything that would be causing me to take this much. What happened? I'm losing a lot of money. Um, oh, uh, I I know what it Check is. Check your force limits. No, no, no. My force limits are fine. Yeah, I figured it out. Where were you bleeding out money? Advisors. They, what, they suddenly cost more? Yeah, yeah they 50% don't. more. Yep. Oh. Oh, holy crap, they do. And I had, I had uh, expensive guys. Yeah. An extra two there, we'll patch that leak at least. Not too bad now. There. Gotta get the leaks patched up. Okay, what's our air look like again? Three, two, six. So even stats and just slightly more even all around, probably for the best. 10% westernization. 8.42. 443 in Labrador. Uh, uh, Shen, how are you doing? He's I can't do anything form. until Marbozier does. 
Yeah, I'll start doing it as soon as my colony is done. I was just being goofy. I say, MacGuffin old chap, what say you to an invasion of, say, Florida? I hear the weather's nice. Not nicer than where I live, but, uh, I don't know. I, I recently gotten out of a pretty bad relationship with Spain. I, I might not still her. This. You're actually still his protectorate. Yeah. I think you lose your protectorate trip once you finish westernizing. Yeah, I know. It's not till that point. I'm definitely still a protector, and I know that. <sighs> yeah, it's those level two advisors. Yeah, they're quite expensive. You I was building up the alliance there. Maybe. Who'd you ally? Just France, Austria, and Britain. Oh god damn it. Jesus. That's it. Time for my fallback plan. Mother Russia always loves me in every game. <laughs> you might be a little far away for that to work. No, seriously, when I was last playing the natives, the only European who wasn't hostile to me was Russia. They're just like, yeah, sure, we'll be your ally. I like my I apparently now have the nickname the Russ Whisperer, because no matter what situation I'm in, Russia's always just magically friendly to me. For no apparent Russ reason. Russ Whisperer. Yeah. The Russ Whisperer. Alright, well, we're holding. Nine, six, eight. It's not too bad. Useless. Can't really have that mission. All right, um... This ain't bad. Hmm. Uh-oh, did somebody forget to change Shen? Hmm. <laughs> See who in the one now? Uh oh. Shen was crying in the chat. No, I was imitating the robot. Did I forget to press the button? Oh, I did forget to press the button. <laughs> okay. That's All it, right. folks. Talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. See you next time.